How we living, everybody? It's Taylor Twelman from Major League Soccer and Apple TV. I promise you, it's still 2024. I may have rented Dirk Diggler's hotel room from 1974. I'll let you Google Dirk Diggler. You there? You got it? See, 2024, it's been filled with a ton of surprises already. Kind of like this hotel room. Minnesota United tied with the Columbus Crew for most points through four games. How about the Vancouver Whitecaps? They have more points than LAFC, Seattle, Orlando City, and Philadelphia. And how about Mother Nature playing a huge part in the Chicago seven-goal thriller? They were down 3-1 in the 84th minute, yet they win 4-3 on this goal. They don't call it the Windy City for nothing. I've never seen anything like this in my life, which is a great segue to what? Twelman's takes. So let's go. When St. Louis City began building their roster in Major League Soccer, they made an interesting, odd, and different type of move. They started with their goalkeeper. They made Roman Berkey the highest paid goalkeeper in MLS history. And I laughed and snarked at it thinking, does Lutz von and Steel know what he's doing? See, Andre Blake, the only real exception to the rule that you should pay a goalkeeper in a salary cap structure with dollars that are better spent on the goal getters, the showstoppers, the playmakers. You get my point. And my point is, I was wrong. See, from the moment Roman Berkey showed up in the Midwest, he's been nothing short of spectacular. The 2023 MLS Goalkeeper of the Year has continued that form into 2024, and I'd argue, maybe even better. See, his performance for the LA Galaxy was the best I've seen from him, which is actually saying something. The six timely saves he made allowed St. Louis to hang on by a thread. And that thread turns into what? A center back scoring a bicycle kick. See, St. Louis, they don't win the West without Roman Berkey. And they sure as hell don't leave LA with a point if he's not standing on his head. He's always on his head. The man is ridiculous. I'm going to stay in the West for my next point. Because before the season started, I said this conference will come down to LAFC and the Seattle Sounders. I still believe that. But follow me. Both rosters filled with quality, filled with experience, and not having to deal with the early games in CONCACAF should allow these teams to be full of energy, to be very dynamic. They haven't. Two goals in four games for both teams is anything but that. Remember, Denis Bawanga equaled the MLS record for most goals in a calendar year with 38 last year. He's yet to score a goal. Now, LAFC scored two goals in the opening game against the Seattle Sounders, and they've done nothing since. And all of this is with Carlos Vela still unsigned. Now, Seattle Sounders came into the season with one of the marquee signings in Pedro De La Vega, who we saw two times, scored a penalty. Now he's out for eight weeks with a hammy. There's been nothing really yet from Jordan Morris at the nine, and Raul Rui Diaz is staring down father time. See, Brian Schmetzer has always pushed the right buttons at the right time, but something is wrong with the Seattle attack, and he knows it. Did you really think I was going to go two straight weeks without talking about Inter-Miami and Messi? I really wanted to, I promise you. But how can I not bring attention to a totally different Inter-Miami than what we saw last season with, and here's the key part, without Lionel Messi? See, in the 11 games Messi hasn't started, Inter-Miami, they only won three of those, and they scored a measly 17 goals in those 11 games. Until Saturday in the nation's capital. Redondo, superb. Gomez, all over the place. Tata Martino, he now has the luxury of bringing two greats off the bench in Alba and Suarez, and the latter, simply breathtaking. Starts the season slow, now he's got four goals, three assists, his last three games, he's got one leg, and he's 37 years old. See, weeks ago I said, I'm not sure he can do it for a full season. I'm curious if he can even score 15 goals. I get it, Suarez has been the top scorer seven times in his career. Could there really be an eighth? Luis Suarez and Inter Miami will travel to the Big Apple this Saturday where you can watch him and all the MLS action on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. And as for my podcast offside, I give my take on MLS teams' continued struggles in Mexico in CONCACAF Champions Cup. And we also talk to Tom Penn. The man who launched LAFC is an expansion team almost 10 years ago. Now he moves further south in California to get San Diego off the ground as their CEO. It's remarkable to think less than 12 months from now, they will make their MLS debut as the 30th franchise. You can listen to his and all my interviews on Apple Podcasts. <music>